Hello there and welcome back to the channel. So here with another South Park phone destroyer video. Today we hope to take on episode 3, the Cyber Ghetto. I've been playing um, last night and today in the morning doing some PvP matches, um, increasing the difficulty of episode 1 and episode 2. Uh, remember that if when you increase the difficulty, you get better rewards, trying to get a better deck. Um, right now, if I'm not mistaken, I am currently at rank 9 on PvP matches. Uh, they have an event going on today, and... Uh, with the with the event actually did the event end it oh no so well they, they, they do have an event going on and with that event you're getting uh adventure fantasy cards if i'm not mistaken or space cards or something like that um so i have a pretty good deck that i've been able to pretty much win i want to say like 60 percent of my matches so it's it's pretty good i mean it's better than average so let's go ahead and get episode one, episode three started. Uh, how do we get out of here? Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and get episodes three started of, of the PVE section of the game. And uh, I don't think we're going to be able to complete it all, but maybe get all the way to the end here. I think that's a good goal. And then we're going to then do a new video and then continue with the second part of, of episode three. So this is episode three, part one. The Cyber Ghetto. Let's go. Let's go and get it. So we're playing against Butters. And I have him as one of my... I have him in my deck. And now that's problematic because if you have the... If you have him on your deck, you're not going to be able to use him when he is on the map. Now that may be good or not, you know, or not. I'm not gonna edit my deck for just one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to beat it. Uh, but just take that into consideration. Whenever you have that that character on your deck, and whenever that enemy character is the boss and he's on the on the playing field, you will not be able to deploy your card. All right. Stop intruder! Cyber Kenny will destroy you. All right, I got you. Negative Cyber Kenny. <laughs> I have brought this human from another time to kill you. Awesome, Mo. Foolish robot! You can kill a cyber. Prepare to die, Earthling. Well, I actually have to talk about this. Foolish robot! I know that gonna cyber. Prepare to die, Earthling. All right, let's let's go, let's go, let's go. So. I have Storyteller Jimmy. <clears throat> He's pretty good because he doesn't let them do supercharge. Now, Kyle is awesome. <coughs> My apologies. Kyle is very awesome because his supercharge ability is that he increases the damage of the enemy. All right. So you see now Jimmy, what he's doing, he actually prevented all those guys from doing damage. Okay, here we go. Let me activate his damage. He's gonna he's gonna destroy that guy from with one shot. I mean, we shouldn't have any issues. The first go around, it there's it's very easy. I found that at my level, I could get all the stages at um six try. So the the I don't know how to call it. So the six try. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. So on the I, I was able to get on the six on the six attempt. This uh, and then the seventh was pretty hard, and I couldn't get it at least with my level on my card. So I needed to do a little bit more in order to be able to defeat it. We have a bunch of points, so we better just put people on the field now. Terrence Miss Fifto is actually pretty good, he's able to put in area damage, which is great. You see how he managed to destroy all those. We have Starving Marvin floating on a balloon. He actually targets the boss directly, but he flies, so not everybody is able to hit him. So that's something that's really good on PvE matches, on PvP matches, because you can then send them on the side, and then he will then target the boss, you know, and he will target the enemy without any major repercussions. So Kenny's saying that he will use his most powerful card, Prepare to Die. There we go. Astronaut Botters at level um, 3 energy and at level 1. He is an assassin, so he will come in directly to destroy us, right? Now, he doesn't have a lot of HP. 
He does move really, really fast, but we have a bunch of guys on the field. I don't think, I don't think he has a chance. You can see how quickly he was able to move. Let's freeze him. And that's it. Pretty awesome. So now he's gone, and uh, we'll be able to just keep using him because I don't think he will be on um, as a boss um, um, anymore. So let's go ahead and open this up. Now, guys, if you know that if there's a trick of getting, like, the better cards, like, you know, my kiddo, my son was telling me, oh, you should click on the ones that have the stickers. I think that's those are the ones that have the highest chance. I, I don't know if that's the case. So I'm going to go and click the metal, click the cows, and click the aliens. You see, and there we got the first two. So it, at least from my perspective, it seems that he does have a point. Um, I'm not going to waste upgrading. Also, that's another thing, guys. If you know, if you're watching this and you know, um, like if I should save my upgrades for particular things, or if I just should keep upgrading everything regardless of, please let me know. All right, so this is, I think this is Clyde, and that's when he's dressed as alien. So we don't have him on our deck, so it shouldn't be on any, any issue. We shouldn't have any issues with that one, so let's keep, let's keep it going. So that's funny, it's still the Indian Mesos Cowboys, but now it went with adventure or, or sci-fi. I think it's the, it's the key. Okay, let's put Calamity. Freaking trash can in the middle of the road. What the heck is going on? Oh, it's poison. So that's like a, that's like a distraction. Let's put Terrence Mephisto in. He's, he's going to be able to do area damage. So you see, the first few... The first few stages are super easy. Because... I mean, uh, we, we have very little, we have very little uh, resistance. And we, we get to keep most of our troops in, right? And that essentially ensures a win. That's, that's pretty much it, right? So I just froze, I just froze something that needed, didn't need to be frozen. You can see Kyle. I think Kyle is great because he buffs up the damage of the of, of his allies. I think that ability is awesome, especially if you manage to time it so that you have um you have a bunch of troops, like three or four, not troops, like you have a bunch of characters in. Then you deploy them, and then you activate it when when they are about to attack. Um, so here we go, Alien Clyde. Pretty good character. I used him for a little bit on the, my PvP, PvE matches. Oh, now I just recognize that he just has a bunch of, of helmets. <laughs> That's what he has. All right, we need to save our guy. Let's see. Just like this. Look, like, you just activate this. Everybody's doing extra damage. And just like that, we managed to win. Obviously, we can. I'm going to repeat this on my own after I'm done with this stage. You know, do all those stages uh, really quickly um, so that I can get the better rewards. Anybody knows how to unlock parental controls? <laughs> Asking for a friend, says Clyde. All right, let's go ahead and open this one, open that one, and open that one. Yeah, we didn't. Actually, we didn't do so bad, but you're a bunch of haters. All right, so let's upgrade. This guy is pretty good. Enforcer Jimmy. What he tends to do is he emits an aura and then he blocks the ability of the enemy to do the mega charge or whatever it's called. Um, you know, the, the, the charge ability. We're gonna we're definitely gonna upgrade him. We cannot upgrade him anymore. This guy is pretty dope, so I'm gonna upgrade it too. Alright, so I think uh I'm not gonna upgrade anything else. We're just gonna keep going. What I'm, what I'm figuring out really quickly is that you tend to run out of coin. Um, you know, when you're doing the PvP matches and then you win the tickets, I think you, uh, at least what I'm thinking is that you're going to have to save those tickets to, to exchange them from coins. Um, all right, I don't know who that is, but I don't have it on my deck, so it should be okay. All 
All right, so this would be uh, stage number three of episode three. Doing awesome. Let's go ahead. Come on, phone. Load, load, load. There we go. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do the storyline, Jimmy. Let's do astronaut botters. Let's go ahead and do Kyle on the back so that he we, he's gonna be able to do the super charge. Let's drop Sally to do some damage assassination. We cannot drop Enforcer Jimmy until Jimmy until Jimmy dies. That's that's a problem of having two cards. Um, but I was trying to do the PvP, the PvP uh, bonus where you know if you have them you can. Um, what what the heck is going on? Okay, so I need to put the enforcer. So right now, what's going on is that in order to attack that guy, in order to attack that guy, we need to go around. And on the meantime, that guy is just putting damage on us, right? There we go. Charge, come on. Oh, no. We wasted our charge, though. All right, Starving Marvin flying. Let's make it go. I mean, we're just putting everybody down on the field. We just have a big crew right now. So obviously you can see that you cannot have multiple guys. You know, you cannot have the same character twice. We already talked about that. Oh, here we go. You handle uh, Alien Clyde. But let's see how you deal with the Alien Queen. Who's the Alien Queen? Oh, that's probably... I don't remember what's her name. I need that card, though. Holy crap. I didn't know there was a fat kid. I, I don't recognize that girl. Oh, wow. She just poisons everybody. That's amazing. I really want her. That's it. So, I wish I could get her. I don't know how you can get her. Because um, I need her for the mission. For the PvP mission in which you can... Uh, if you use X amount of cards, you get X amount of points. And then you get you get bonus packs. All right, so there we go. We got Alien Clyde again. I'm going to go with the sticker ones. And it seems to work. I mean, I think the stickers give you an idea of where to click. So I guess my son was right. All right, so we are what? We are about 12 minutes into the episode. Um, I think this should be... Either the second to last or the last stage. Those are that is a gremlin. I am pretty sure of it. The difficulty on this one is medium. So, you know, we're we're just getting started, and it's already at medium. However, I don't know if that's affected by the composition of the previous episodes because all the all the previous episodes are right now at hard. Like I said, I bid them uh, between five to seven times each. All right, let's put Enforcer Jimmy in. Let's put uh, the Gunslinger on the back. Let's put Smuggler Ike. He's a good assassin. Let's put this guy flying in. You know, every time he his, his ability rushes up, he's doing more damage, which is great. You can see he's doing 60 damage now. That's pretty insane if you ask me. All right, here we go. Let's put Sally in. And this is easy. I mean, you can see I'm not struggling at all. Um, it's just dropping the troops. Now, when I do this again on my own later, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot harder. All right. So that guy's down. That guy, the guy. Oh, my God. This is so freaking easy. Time to bring out my most vicious... Vicious alien. Gizmo Ike. That's a, that's a pretty good assassin. Look at that. The 60 damage, 240 health. Ooh, and when it charges, you get twice the number of, of gizmos. That is... Yay! That is pretty crazy. But I do have energy, and I'm going to freeze him. Okay. I'll be able to freeze him in a second. Oh, Jesus, look at all those guys. 
Wow! There we go. We got them all. Or we got the main one. I don't know. But that doesn't work like that on PvP matches. Thank, thank Lord. Because, I mean, it, it takes about 20 seconds for it to split. Hey, new kid. Don't forget to go to see Don King. He might have some fights for you. All right. I got it. Let's see. I'm going to go with the stickers again. Hopefully, we'll get a nice card. Yep. We got Alien Clyde. So it seems it seems to be the key. All right, I'm not gonna upgrade neither of those cards. If you if you think one of those cards is actually better, let me know in the comment section, guys. If that's the case. There we go. Stage five of episode three. So we're gonna get Marine Craig. And I don't know who that is. Um, I don't know if I've seen him though. All right, so oh, come on. 16 minutes, not so bad. The previous episodes took about 30 minutes, so maybe, I mean, I'll, I'll let it go to 30. Not not sure now. Oh, we're going to fight against Kenny. He's, he's upset. Okay. Oh, so this is like a PvP match. This is the end of the line. You won't get one step closer to my cyber command center. All right, all right. Let's put Enforcer. Let's put Peanut Butter. Let's put Bandida. And let's put Smuggler. That should take care of all those guys because those three are assassins. That's a lot of DPS down there that he's not going to be able to overcome unless he has a freeze or something like that. Okay, so we're going to freeze in a second. There we go, just so that we can do damage to him. One, two... He's going to explode very any second now. He's going to kill my troops. So, actually, Mephisto actually survived, which is amazing. Let's put Kenny. All right, let's put the Space Warrior. All right, Kenny, it's close to getting destroyed. So, there's Clyde with his uh, alien thing. He poisoned. He poisoned my girl. All right. Let's put... Um... Oh, this is over. This is over. Put this guy here. I should have done the freeze, though. But we're winning, so... I'm pretty sure there's not going to be any issues right now. Wow, that guy just went running like crazy. Enforcer Jimmy. Again, he's going to prevent... It's gonna prevent Stan's girl from, from Wendy from from overpowering. And there we go. Kyle goes down. Not Kyle. Um is it Kyle? Oh I forgot. Kenny, Kenny, Kenny went down. And we just I think we just had episode three completed, the cyber ghetto, yeah. So we open three lockers now. 120 coins. And this time, our luck was not that good. However, I don't care that much about Maureen Craig. Um, you know, I maybe I need to care about him. So we, I'm going to upgrade Enforcer Jimmy. I think this is very, very good opportunity for us. So we're going to go ahead and do upgrade him. I'm going to upgrade, um, who else? Who else do we have? No, nobody else, because I'm not going to waste on those. I'm not using either of them. However, Mimsy, Mimsy's not that bad. Pretty awesome. So that is, this is episode four. So I'm think I'm going to cut it here, guys. Um, I want to say thank you for stopping by and, and, and watching the video. Let me, leave a like if you did like um, the video and comment. It would be awesome if you do. And uh, yeah, and I will catch you on the next episode. That's all I have for you today. So it's checking out. Later.